Hello there, I'm Ethan, the head of support at OpenTrons. This is the third video in a series we are calling From Box to Protocol. Let's get started with setting up the app and connecting to the OG2. Since I have already unboxed and unlocked the OT2, all I need this time is a computer, a USB to Ethernet adapter, an Ethernet cable, and the power cables that were included in the larger foam enclosure, and the accessories box. So let's get started downloading the app. The OpenTrons app can be found on the OpenTrons website. I will scroll down to where it says download the app. I will download the OS specific app to my computer and then follow the on-screen instructions to install the app. Once the app is installed, I can then open it. I will be brought to the protocol tab when I first open the app. This page shows all the protocols I have uploaded to the app. I have none because I just installed the app. I also have the labware tab, which shows our standard labware, as well as any custom labware I have uploaded. Lastly, I have the devices page, which shows all the OpenTrons devices I am able to access. Now let's connect to the OT2. First, I need to make sure the OT2 is plugged in and it has a solid blue light on the front of the machine. I get asked this a lot, but the button on the front of the machine does not do anything. At the moment, the support team uses it to make sure the OT2 is properly booting. Let's get started plugging it in. So I'll need the ethernet cable, the power brick, the ethernet to USB dongle, and the IEC cable. So first I'll plug in the IEC cable into the outlet. Next, I will plug in the IEC cable into the power adapter, power brick. Then I will make sure to plug in the power brick into the OT2. The most important thing when you are plugging this into the OT2, and for that matter, any OpenTrans equipment, is to make sure that the plug is oriented in the right direction. If it is not, you could cause a short circuit on your OT2. Now we'll wait while the OT2 boots. Great, the light on the front of the OT2 is now solid, so I can now physically connect the OT2 to my computer via an ethernet cable. The OT2 has an ethernet port on the side of it, just above the power port. So I'll plug the ethernet cable in first and snake it around to my computer. For this connection, my computer also does not have an ethernet port. So I will need the supplied ethernet to USB dongle. So now that I've plugged it in, I'll go back to the OpenTrons app. So I'll navigate to the devices tab and here it is. So the OT2 shows up as the serial number and you could also find the serial number of the OT2 on a sticker on the side of the machine. So since my OT2 is new, uh, there's a red banner telling me to update the robot software before I can run a protocol. So I'll go through that very quickly. So I will just view the update and update the robot. It will take a few minutes for the robot to update. Five minutes later. Once the OG2 is updated, there's one cool thing I want to show you. You can turn on the light to see the beautiful robot. This concludes our video on setting up the OpenTrons app and connecting to the OT2. Thanks for checking out the third video in our From Box to Protocol series. Now that I've connected to the OT2, I will move on to attaching the pipettes and calibrating the machine.